Welcome. Today we shall be looking at the classification of surgical instruments. In this presentation, we will look at each class, specific characteristics of instruments in each class, their examples and the uses. Surgical instruments are classified by their function into a number of classes including cutting and dissecting instruments, grasping and holding instruments, clamping and occluding instruments, exposing and retracting instruments, suturing and stapling, viewing instruments, suctioning instruments, dilating and probing instruments, measuring instruments, micro instruments and powered instruments. Let's then move ahead and look at each class of these theater instruments. Cutting and dissecting instruments. Cutting and dissecting instruments have sharp edges. They are used to dissect or incise, separate or excise tissues. Most of the instrument sets in the surgical area will include number 3 and number 7 knife handles, carved myo scissors, Medzenbaum scissors also known as met scissors, tenotomy scissors and many other scissors. Knife handles and knife blades. Knife handles in surgery come in various widths and lengths. Surgical blades are attached to these knife handles by slipping the slit in the blade into the groove of the handle. Knife blades with a prefix of 1, for example blade number 10, 11, 12 and 15 fit into a number 3 or number 7 handles. That is a blade number 10, number 11 look like that, number 12 and number 15. Blades with a prefix of 2, for example, blade number 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24, fit into knife handle number 4. When looking at the knife blades, a knife blade number 10 is used for making large skin incisions, a number 15 blade is used for making short, shallow incisions, and number 11 is used for making initial skin puncture in tiny deep incisions. Other knife handles, for example the long handles, are used inside deep incisions, for example open abdominal cases, and we have another one known as beaver knife used for small and delicate cases. Let's have a look at surgical scissors. The surgical scissors may be either straight, angled, or curved. The tips may be pointed or blunt, and handles may be either long or short. The surgical scissors should be used only for the intended purpose, and we have a various examples of surgical scissors, for example, a straight myo scissor that we call suture scissor, bandage or dressing scissors used for cutting bandage, a curved mouth scissor or surgeon scissors used for making tissue incisions, medicine bump scissors, tenotomy scissors, we have an iris scissors, heat suture scissors, Dubois scissors, Miller scissors, Quimby scissors, Locklin scissors and other cutting instruments for example rongas that are used to cut bones for example raskin ronga and a lecture ronga we have osteotomes and chisels we have bone curates like this one or a silver spoon and we have a free elevator also rasps are classified as a cutting instruments then bone cutters like Macklin or bone cutting forceps. The second classification of surgical instruments is grasping and holding instruments. These instruments are used to grasp tissues and hold them in place without injuring the surrounding tissues. The forceps in this case can be either ringed or thumbed. Most instrument sets 
will include coca forceps, alice forceps, which is used in grasping organs or tissues during removal without crushing the tissues. We have an alice adair tissue forceps. We have a babcock forceps. Sponge sticks or rumply sponge holding forceps. We have a towel clip that is the Bacos towel clip, Jones towel clip, Edna towel clip, and Doyen cross action towel clamp. We have a Rode towel clamp also, and Adson's forcep, Adson's tissue forcep, Brown Adson forcep, and we have also a disposable dissecting forcep, singly tissue forceps, Ferris Smith forceps and debaki tissue forceps. This is an atraumatic vascular forcep used to grasp fine tissues. We also have Chito's sterilization forcep that is used in removing sterile instruments from the autoclave and placing them into the sterile surgical field. Brown forceps for grasping superficial delicate tissues. Bony tissue forceps for grasping heavy tissues or bonds. Land tissue forceps that we use to grasp tough structures, for example, skin, fascia, and aponeurosis. We have a list of sinus forceps using to do incision and drainage of the abscess by Hilton's method. And we can also use it to hold a gauze swab to clean the abscess cavity. We have a loveless, loveless forceps for grasping uh, lungs. We have a black gallstone forcep that uh, we use in grasping delicate tissues, for example, for open tubes, the vast difference, and also the bowels. We have a duval lung clamp forceps used to grasp lung tissues. The Bucky bulldog clamps also is a grasping and holding instrument. We have a discharging cholidocolithotomy forceps. The third classification is clamping and occluding. The instruments in clamping and occluding are used to apply pressure. Some clamps are designed to crush the structure when applied and others are non-crushing. Therefore, they can be used to occlude or secure tissue. Most instrument sets will include examples of instruments such as mosquito forceps, cryl forceps, Kelly forceps, tonsil forceps, Peon and right angled clamps. But before we proceed, we need to know the anatomy of a clamp. What are the parts of a clamp and the names? So a clamp has the ring handles, ratchet, shank, box lock, jaws, and tips. Examples of clamping and occluding instruments include mosquito forceps. We have cryal forceps, curly artery forceps or curly hemostatic forceps, we have tonsil forceps, peon, right angled forceps, non-crushing bowel clamps, we have vascular clamps, bulldogs, the fourth classification of surgical instrument is exposing and retracting. The exposing and retracting instruments are used to pull soft tissues and muscles aside so that they can expose the surgical site for easy operation. These retractors are of two types, handheld retractors and self-retaining retractors. Examples of handheld retractors, examples of handheld retractors as skin hooks, sen retractor, cushion vein retractor, Volkman retractor or rec retractor, Aminevi retractor, Malibu or ribbon retractor, Richardson retractors, Kelly retractor, Harrington and Diva retractors. These are examples of handheld retractors. On the other hand, we have self-retaining retractors, for example, weight learner retractor, cerebellar retractor, Gelpi, Balfour retractor, book water retractor, The fifth classification is suturing and stapling instruments. 
needle holders and switches fall into this class. The needle holder sizes vary according to type of the needle that is used and most instrument cells will have uh, the common type of needle holders known as Webster needle holder, Krile hood and Mayhaga needle holders. We also have clipper pliers that place individual staples and these clip appliers can either be reusable or disposable. So the needle holders, like we have said, vary according to the type of needle used. And examples of these needle holders are Webster, Krylewood, Myohagia, Castro VH needle holder, skin staplers, work hemoclip appliers, and liga clip appliers. Moving to the sixth classification, which is viewing instruments. And in surgery, surgeons can examine body cavities, hollow organs, or structures with the use of viewing instruments. And also surgical procedures can be performed through these instruments. Examples of viewing instruments are known as speculums. That is, we have a nasal speculum, vaginal speculum, rectal speculum, for example, a Kelly rectal speculum to examine the rectum. We have a board hammer rectal speculum, rigid endoscopes or telescopes or laparoscopic telescopes, laparoscopic trockers, laparoscopic or microsurgery instruments, thoracoscopic trockers, arthroscopic cannulas, cystoscopy sheath, camera and light cord to be used in laparoscopic surgeries, flexible bronchoscopes, flexible ureteroscopes, and proctoscopes. Moving to the next classification, that is suctioning instruments. We kind of have a limited number of instruments here. That is the freezer suction, Yanka suction, and a pool suction. Props and dilators is another classification of surgical instruments. And in props and dilators, we have uterine dilators, uterine sound, urethrosounds, lacrimal duct probes, and vascular tunnelers. All these are just to increase the lumen of the cavities. Then we have measuring instruments. In surgery, you need to measure either volumes or depth. For example, when carrying out total hip replacement or surgical uh, orthopedic surgeries, we use a depth gauge or a total hip trials and also rulers in surgery to estimate the size, either depth or the length, or even width. We have micro instruments. These are instruments used in uh, carrying out or performing micro surgeries, for example, ear surgeries, eye surgeries. Examples of micro instruments are Castro Viejo needle holders, micro scissors, Bishop Harmon forceps. Then we have powered instruments. Powered instruments are of three types battery powered instruments, which use a battery, air powered instruments, or electric powered instruments. In this case, we have examples like uh, Striker System 5 instruments, meters. TPS system or arthroscopic shavers.